Hi everyone, welcome to October Favorites. I have quite a few fails in here, so let's start with this Dove Quench Absolute for curly coarse hair. I don't have curly coarse hair. I don't remember if this was sent to me in a box or what, but it is not a product I'm interested in using. I tried it and it just doesn't do anything for me. This Hot Chocolate by Giovanni, it's a sugar scrub. I love this. I actually have used it on my body and my face. It smells like chocolate. It kind of has a little bit of a warming scent to it. It is probably a little smaller and less oily than the Trader Joe's scrub. Um, I really like it and it's really nice. I love the Tea Tree Hut <laughs> um, scrub just as equal though and I think it's a little less expensive than this. This was very nice though. The Trader Joe's shave cream, I put this into a pump and I absolutely love it. Swear by it. Scrub gloves. <laughs> I use these in the shower. I get them from the dollar store. This was just a little travel scrubby that I've been using in our travels. And a hair product of this uh, Argon Oil Moroccan. It's by the Organics OGX line. I do not care for this near as much as their coconut serum in the pump. I absolutely love that. This Tresemme 2 hairspray for travel. When we've taken longer trips and I've been able to have checked luggage, this is 4.2 ounces, but I like being able to have the spray versus when we don't do checked luggage, then I'm just able to have the smaller liquids. But this is my favorite. I love this Tresemme. This, tresemme. this mainstay odor neutralizing room spray. I love the cranberry mandarin scent. I get this at Walmart. I get the wax ones in the cranberry mandarin. I get candles in cranberry mandarin. I don't like anything too strong and overpowering. This is a really nice scent. It takes away any scent in the room. It freshens things up and Mark tells me that this works to remove any scent if you spray it in the toilet, that it removes any scent in the bathroom, but I wouldn't know. <laughs> um, this clear care contact lens. I featured this last month in my favorite. This lasts me probably at least two months, this big one, I'm guessing. I didn't write down when I started it. Uh, this is a fabulous deal. You get two big ones and a travel. I think oh, the link below is like $18. So it lasts roughly, I'd say, six months for the three, you know, the two big bottles and the little one. Your contacts are so fresh. I absolutely love this. Once in a while when we've been traveling, I haven't had the little travel size bottle with me, so I just use my regular contact lenses. You can feel when you put those in your eyes, even one day of not using that clear care, I'm not happy. Uh, Sensodyne toothpaste, I love this. Obviously, whenever my teeth are sensitive, the rest of the time I use the natural whitening from the dollar store. And two items I've mentioned before, thyroid pills, if you haven't had yours checked, get them checked, contact lenses, I get mine at Sam's Club or Costco is also good, I've been told. Some more fails, this organic body butter. A uh, big YouTuber mentioned this, that she knows somebody at the craft fair. I ordered this. I went through the orange bang. I started going through the mingle. I realized this does not do anything at all for softening or moistening. It's like a really thick lard is the best thing I can equate it to. And it doesn't really do anything other than leave this greasy feel on your skin. It doesn't soften, it doesn't moisten. Just not thrilled with it. So I'm letting it go. This is worn off, the name of it, I don't even know. Uh, someone recommended it. I just wasn't thrilled. It says it's supposed to fade dark spots. It didn't do anything for me. I prefer my other things that I use, so I'm gonna let that go. This Bliss Body Butter Blood Orange smells phenomenal. It moisturizes, but I don't think I would uh, purchase it again because I have some other products that I like much better. For skincare with travel, I bought a little DaVita travel kit that has all kinds of things in it. And these were nice. Um, if I wasn't traveling, I wouldn't repurchase. This Air Repair, this was something that was sent to me very beginning of YouTube. It's a lip balm. I much prefer my Trader Joe's that I get from there. I wouldn't repurchase this. This Glow Naturals Eye Serum, it's very nice. 
I have one that I think I like better. Plus, I'm not sure if I believe in eye serums. I will repurpose this pump, though. I'm a big believer in getting everything I can into pumps. This Freeman's peel-off mask, I really liked it, and it does really leave your skin nice. I don't think I would repurchase because I don't have time to put something on and leave it. You need to have it very dry. If you try to take it off with water, it doesn't do well, so it's better to peel it off, and that also helps your skin refresh. But that means you have to let it dry thoroughly. And when I'm getting ready in my nighttime routine, I just don't have time for something like that. So I would not repurchase, but it is nice if you have time, I would recommend it. These two snail repairs, if you remember, Mark got me the whole line, I think Christmas last year. Uh, this is the intensive ampule and the hyaluronic acid. They were just okay. I'm not impressed with the snail line. I know a lot of people are. They just don't do it for me. I think it's kind of a gimmick. There's so many other products that I like better, so I would not repurchase. And finally, my Rock Wrinkle Cream. Love this. Oh, one more. CeraVe. This is not my f favorite CeraVe product, the Renewing SA Lotion, so I would not repurchase. It's very lightweight. For my use up, I used up this Peaches and Cream. Yes, there's still a little bit around the edges, but it's not worth damaging my brush for, so I'm letting it go. This is an eyeshadow primer that I got off of Etsy and I used it up. It was just okay. Would not repurchase. My e.l.f. Daily Moisture Stick. Finally, I used it up. I used it on my elbows. I've used it just any way I could to try to get rid of it. I will not repurchase, not my favorite. I had it at my computer desk just trying to remember when I'm on meetings and I feel a dry elbow or something, I'd put it on. Definitely nothing that I would recommend, at least not for me. This Bourjois Bronzing Primer, I really like it and it's a good thing because my girlfriend sent me another one. It's really, really nice. It is warmer toned. I wish it was a bit cooler toned for my complexion, but boy, is it nice. To, um, it's just very smooth, very buttery, very even. I prefer powders except for this. This is almost like putting on a foundation. It's really nice and smooth. My beloved Maybelline Dream Wonder that I use in Maui and I finished it, I used it up and I don't think they make it anymore so I'm really sad but I have other foundations that I like so uh, the one thing that this made me realize is how much I enjoy using my fingers when I put on foundation because this has the stick so you plop it on over your face and some reason I just use my fingers after that and I've gotten into using my fingers now with my other foundations. I might use a sponge as the final finish, but to spread it around, I just really like the texture and the ability to feel the product on my face. I'm into one of those modes of using my fingers lately. Makeup Geek, the gel eyeliner in Immortal. This is beautiful, really nice. I'm letting it go because it's time and honestly, I think I will not repurchase gel eyeliners when I'm finished. That's part of this use up that's helped me to know what I like. Physician's Formula is my holy grail, definitely. And I'll probably be doing my holy grail, I guess Jaclyn Hills called it ride or die. I do it at the end of every year, so I'll probably do that if you're interested in skincare, makeup, and everything. Used up another one of my Jordana Fabi Brow brow pencils. I think I have two more of those, so I started on the next one. I used up this Wet n Wild 525D. It's pink and so I'm glad that I finished it because summer is over and then as I got into my fall colors, my touch of spice. So sad to see that go. I will not repurchase, at least not right now, because I have so many other things to use up. This Jordana Easy Liner Retractable Pencil in Tawny. It was okay. It's not Anything I would rush out and repurchase simply because I don't think to use lip liners. I probably need them, but I don't think to use them. Uh, watermelon lip balm, I use this at night and I'm just doing it to try to use up some of my lip balms. Once I finish lip balms, I don't know that I would specifically repurchase a lip balm product. I'll have to think about that one. Blistex, love this. Put it on the moons under my eyes either before, after, during, <laughs> doing concealer, and it really helps to give some moistness there. It puffs out the wrinkles. It helps the product to go on smoother. You can kind of push in the concealer, and it just is beautiful. Then you can put on the powder. I carry one of those in my purse as well. Whenever I see my eyes are looking crinkly under there, put some on. It freshens it right up. Monistat Chafing Gel. 
love this and you're gonna see that I'm gonna be doing a declutter and I will be getting rid of that Nivea men's shave cream it stinks it's drying it's not my monostat this monostat I did a video on it being compared to Smashbox it's a dupe with all the ingredients absolutely love it and these lashes in 108 they have a band and they're just they show up they're just not good um, I like my k19s with the invisible band and the varying lengths and they just look I think much more natural you can tell me <laughs> and finally for a perfume is Marc Jacobs Daisy it's really nice and I would say this is a close second to what I did end up getting from my Sephora sample pack uh, they give you a coupon to get the full size and that is the Tory Burch that I ended up getting, which I really, really like. But this, I say, would be a close second. It's different, it's sweet, but it's not overpowering. It's just a very, very nice perfume. I really do like this one. So that was my empties. I hope you picked up a tip or two, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll talk to you next time.